You want to know what pisses me off the most? Seeing people complain about tears in Pokemon. As I've told you all, I'm not a super competitive person in the game myself. When I see people complaining about using lower tier Pokemon in higher tiers, I get a little bit pissed off. These Pokemon tiers are not determined by how good the Pokemon is. There is no ranking system to determine if a Scizor is better than a Wormadam. It's simply how many people use it. Sure, the more people that use a Pokemon, the easier it is. But if that's the case, then why the fuck do you want to fall into the category of people that use a Pokemon depending on how easy it is to use the Pokemon first off? I'm not denying that certain Pokemon have bigger base stat totals than others, but what I'm saying is that if it's easier to use something and everyone's using it, wouldn't you want to do something that's a little bit different, a little bit more complex to show that there's a bit more skill with it? Anyone can go in there with a scissor, oh, I'm gonna sword dance it up and then I'm gonna bullet punch. It's easy as hell. It's a lot more difficult to win with the Wormadam. I use the Sizzle Wormadam relation because, in my honest opinion, there's no other example that can work out better than this. It's not the Pokemon that matter, it's how you use the Pokemon that matters a lot. I mean, look at the name of how they categorize the Pokemon. O, U, 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 R, U, N, U, fuck you. All of them stand for used. This Pokemon's used a lot. This Pokemon's not used a lot. That does not mean this Pokemon is so much better than this Pokemon because this Pokemon's clearly not used a lot. Jesus Christ, people. Try to get it into your heads that tier is merely just a standard of how much the Pokemon is being used not their effectiveness in battle. If you want to talk about Pokemon being effective in battle, then actually take a Pokemon, experiment with it, rather than automatically putting it down because it's in a lower tier. I hear this all the time. All the time. You know, you, you, you have no skills. You're using a Pokemon almost no one uses, which is quite difficult to use. Therefore, you're no skilled at the game because clearly you don't know how to use Pokemon, which everyone uses, that are totally easy. Press the button, it kills stuff. This is the epitome of what makes up the game of Pokemon players right now, and it pisses me off. Why is it celebrated to use OU Pokemon anyways? If I, if everyone starts using a Wormadam in OU, then it's going to become OU because people like using it. It's effective in the way that people use it, therefore, that's how it switches tiers. Now, clearly, there are some Pokemon that just are not meant to be used in the competitive metagame. Like, you know, if I come up with a Farfetch'd in, in Ubers, clearly I'm gonna get fucked up, unless there's some kind of way that I can implement the teamwork around Farfetch'd to make it usable within that tier. That's where the the general basis of this is. This is a game that's based on teamwork and multiple Pokemon. How the fuck are you going to rate a Pokemon's usage and power based on only the Pokemon itself when there's five other Pokemon that can make up that strategy behind it and make it useful? I think a lot of you dudes have the wrong mentality when it comes to judging Pokemon. You should definitely think about it more. Which brings me to something else. Whenever you post a battle where you win, oh, the opponent sucks. Post a battle that you lose, you suck. I can't win here. If you post a battle that you win, so many people are so quick to say that the opponent sucked, he made a wrong move, when it's a game that's based on luck. It has almost nothing to do with skill when you know everything about the Pokemon. Like, if I learn everything about a Slow King, I know everything, from its moves to its base stat total, everything. There's only so much information that you can learn about a Pokemon until you learn everything about the Pokemon. If I know that Slow King is a water psychic type, I know the moves that Slow King has, its base stat total, what stats is good in, what stats is bad in, there's nothing else to learn about Slow King anymore. I know everything about slow king competitively wise so there is a cap of knowledge that you have about learning about Pokemon there's little that you can learn after you learn everything that there is to know about that Pokemon so what does that bring the game of competitive play down to luck exactly luck it all depends on how easily you're able to predict your opponent's actions which has nothing to do with the competitive metagame essentially because that's taken out of the equation once you know everything there is to know about the pokemon since there is a cap when you go into a battle half of you dudes don't even realize that 70 percent of the game is mental and when i say mental i mean in the other person's head not in your head it's in the other person's head this game of pokemon is not trying to figure out how the hell you're going to beat them with your team of ou's it's how the hell you're going to phase them out to be able to pull a victory out of your ass this has nothing to do with the Pokemon after a certain level. Sure, if you don't know about a Pokemon's typing or you don't know its moves, you're going to get ransacked against someone that does. But if there's two people in a battle that both know everything there is to know about a Pokemon, then what does it boil down to? predicting the person, seeing the way they play, seeing their style of play, knowing what they're going to do, anticipating what they're going to do. In a game like that, 
There was only a right answer and a wrong answer, not a more skillful answer. There was a right and a wrong. Either I predict him to predict what I'm predicting, so predicting over it, or I'm totally wrong and he doesn't predict what I'm predicting to predict over it and he's predicting what he's seeing that I'm going to predict to do. You see what I mean? This is a clusterfuck of mindless predictions upon mindless predictions. Sure, there is some level of skill involved in it. I'm not trying to say that there isn't, but it's mostly luck. If you predict right, yay for me. If you predict wrong, you suck? What? I just don't understand why people get this so misconstrued because it is such an easy concept to understand. It's a game which is based on luck in the first place and all the factors that involve luck smog on themselves as a competitive battling regulation community say that they do everything they can to remove the luck out of the game because the game is mostly luck in the first place. Your game is nothing to do with competitive skill, mostly it's luck. Your own battling community guideline regulators say this, that the game is mostly based off of luck. Why the fuck are you saying that it isn't? Ah! And this is for the people that are talking about my intro being too long. You know what? The Attica World Network is a package of a whole lot of things, not just Pokemon. I like to showcase my skills in everything. So when you talk crap about my intro being way too long, I really want to deliver a hot warm cup of fuck you, but you know what? I'm not going to do that because I am more classy than that. What I'm trying to say here is that if you got a problem with the intro, I leave a button at the top of every single video description that you can click to fast forward from the intro into the battle. And if you don't like it, then please unsubscribe because then this channel is not for you. If you can't scroll the mouse wheel button down just a little bit to click a goddamn link at the top of the description to save you 50 seconds of your time. That intro was meant to showcase my skills not only as a Pokemon battler, but as a video director, uh, a, vi a videographer, graphic designer, a lot of things. This is a packaging of me as Desmond Amofa, not just the Pokemon battle you know as Etika. I know the intro is long. I'm making a shorter one as we speak. Please do not... Ugh. I don't even know what to say anymore because at this point I'm just like really, really done. This is, this is a really big rant video. I made it clear from day one, you're not going to get that OU competitive smog on bullcrap from this channel. And if you don't know, now you know. You're, you will know what to expect. I'm using what I want to use because these Pokemon are not horrible Pokemon. The Pokemon that I use are not bad Pokemon at all. They all have totally viable stats, totally viable sets, and are easily manageable if you have the brain capacity to use it. And if your brain is way too simple to be able to understand the mechanics of my team, and you're totally used to your bullet punching scissors, and your scouting landorises, and your one click taking special hits blissy, which you don't have to have any mental capacity to use. What mental capacity is there for using blissy? Bro, oh, give it special defense, give it HP, send it in the battle. You don't have to play complex with the blissy to get the edge in a battle. Bring Blissey, bring Skarmory. These Pokemon are so easy to use that everyone uses them, hence most people are simple-minded. Does that make sense to you? If a, something is easier to do that doesn't require as much mental processes in it, then it is simple for the human mind and therefore makes you simple. Now sure, we all are simple in our own regards, even myself. But God damn it, when you fall to the level of simplicity of having a team which is mostly composed of legendary Pokemon, I, I still can't believe that's somewhat accepted. You can bring a team with Celebi, Jirachi, Landorus, Latios, Latias, and that's okay. That's totally okay. What the hell? These Pokemon are considered legendary. I'm not trying to say that they're not you know, usable. I'm not trying to say that they're overpowered, but legendary Pokemon have something that they're special in. The fact that you can just stack a team up full of legendaries and that's A-OK -okay shows how simple you are because you can't somehow find it viable to use other Pokemon. Sure, there's tiers. I understand that, but the tiers are based on usage, not their competitive skill. In fact, it's kind of the opposite effect. The amount that the Pokemon is used determines how people perceive the Pokemon's competitive skill, not the Pokemon's actual viability, since actual viability is a factor which is determined upon the person using them, not the Pokemon. Therefore, any Pokemon is usable as long as the mind behind the Pokemon is viable. So when you want to tell me that there's separate tiers to use separate Pokemon in and that you shouldn't be using certain Pokemon in certain tiers, I say the only reason you're saying that is because you don't have the mental capacity to actually use Pokemon which are really, really good, but you just, they're not as easy to use as Skarmory Blissey. I'm sorry for complaining. 
I'm sorry for sounding like I'm bitching. I just wanted to put that out there and let you guys know what the hell is good. This is a rant that I've needed to come off for a while now, so I am glad I'm able to do it. If you have anything that you want to leave about this rant, please leave it in the comments below and I will make sure to get at it, read it, and hey, who knows, maybe something good will come of that. Most likely not. Anyways, this is the Article World Network signing off. I'm done with this, man. Get the fuck off of me. Get the fuck out of me.